everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautifully simple cord. So it's made using literally only double crochets. It's a really really simple one to create and it is the same front and back so it's a great one for bags and things like that as well. So you want to start with your slip knot on your hook and you're going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through, that's one and again that's two. And then into this very first stitch that we did we are going to put a double crochet. So remember this is UK terms so in the US these would all be your single crochet. So insert your hook into that very first chain, yarn over and pull up and then you'll yarn over and you'll pull through both of those loops. So we've got the stitch that we've just created here with the V but then we've got this part of the other stitch here, so you want to turn your work that way and then you're going to insert your hook behind that part of the stitch yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through both and again now you can see the same thing, you've got the stitch you've just created making the V Except this time when we turn around, you can see we've actually got two parts to this stitch. So you've got two loops here. So from now on, we're going to be working under both loops. So if I just do this slowly, you can see I'm going under one. So I've gone under one there. And you want to go under the other part as well. And then you'll complete your double crochet stitch. So you'll yarn over and pull up yarn over, pull through both. And then again you'll turn and you'll have those two loops there again and you'll insert your hook under both of those loops. So you don't want your stitches to be too tight otherwise it makes that really tricky. And then yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both and turn. And again, under both loops, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and turn. Under both loops, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And you're literally going to repeat that as many times as you need to until your strap is the length that you need it to be. That is how simple it is to crochet a cord like that and it's a really sturdy cord as well. So if you complete the length of cord that you need and then I will meet you back just to show you how to finish off. So once your cord reaches the length that you need it to be you're simply going to chain one, snip your yarn and then pull that tail out and then you'll have a beautiful secure crochet cord. It really is as simple as that. But thank you as always for watching and I will see you again for another tutorial really soon. Bye for now.